good morning everyone is in class hello intentional parents i'm ready for you i hope you're ready for me <laughs> i as you come online i want you to begin to invite your friends invite your family invite your husband to come listen oh, wow hello uh, the network here is quite all right good morning once again please if you're coming online do something so because the, the signal here is quite i can't seem to get signal but if you're online please uh hi me or say something for me to know that you're watching okay yeah good morning once again so if you're coming online please invite your friends invite your husband your wives to come online we need to we need to talk the talk <laughs> so that um, you can go home and do the do uh, whenever I'm invited to speak on subjects like this I'm usually very very excited because um, it's unfortunate that uh, in our society most people shy away from talking about these subjects and uh, actually we need to hear about them over and over and over again so we can begin to make in our homes or in our marriages once again my name is mabel on Wimele. i am a sex coach a public speaker a writer i also run um, a women-based ngo called women of purpose development foundation I want to say a very big thank you to Mrs. Wendy Ologe for the privilege to be speaking to awesome men and women like you guys. So I'm very, very excited. I hope you are too. Unfortunately, I can't seem to to get to get um signal but if you i can see that there are people online already so it's from my side so let's shoot so as you come online please invite your friends invite your husband invite your wife invite your family uh, members to come listen so they can begin to make um informed decisions concerning their sex life because you will agree with me that this is a talk that everyone need to be involved in okay so topic here says regular sex in marriage and uh, its effects on children i want to start this um class with a personal story you know since the lockdown i've gotten countless uh calls from husband from wives from all walks of life complaining my wife is this my husband is that my in fact up to the fact that um the 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 the, the, the <laughs> in fact <laughs> up to the sex thing in fact some women complain their husband want to kill them uh, some men complain their their wives are not um responding to touch some misunderstanding here and there but i want to say something categorically especially to singles in the house if you know you're not married please take your time marriage is not a competition you don't uh, it's not something that uh, you do because someone else is doing it you just have to be sure this is my best friend this person i'm ready to take this chance to spend the rest of my life with this person 
don't marry for pity don't marry for money don't marry for handsomeness or physical uh, features uh -huh. because um, marriage is not a child's play marriage is work so if you're not ready to work please forget about marriage and as a woman if you're not ready to give heed to your husband to respect your husband please forget about marriage and as a man you're not ready to take the bullshit <laughs> of a woman you know sometimes women you know so don't marry so I want to tell a personal story of my relationship with my husband you know when my man came to me and uh, proposed for marriage he told me he just came bluntly I'm a diehard romantic person so I had a picture of what I wanted as you know as a as a husband but unfortunately the guy that came asking for my hand in marriage didn't come in the package that I envisaged or didn't pop the question the way I envisaged so I felt ah no 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 I'm not sure this guy is too crude he's not my kind of man and all that but oh having known you know God at a very young age I knew that God was saying something concerning this this man among the the, 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 the guys that proposed hmm. the, net the network here is crazy the network here is crazy Yeah, so hello, hello once again. Network here is something else. I don't know. Okay. Okay. So I was saying something before the the network went bizarre. So I I was saying something about my husband and I. So I married my best friend. So we are able to navigate through the problems of life, the challenges that we've had boats we are rocking the boat together so in choosing your life partner i'm talking to i'm talking to the the young ladies in the house in choosing your life partner there must be physical emotional psychological uh, 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 connection between uh, you and to get married to sex there must be emotional connection before you can talk about uh, enjoying the, the 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 relationship there must be emotional connection so that is why each time i'm giving opportunity to speak to young people or to speak to men and women i always emphasize the need for synergy you must marry your best friend all the problems that people are having right now due to the lockdown is because they are they are not married to their best friends when you marry your best friend you'll be in, in in a good position to listen to them to know where they are coming from when two adults are shouting it's because they are shouting to be heard because they are not in the same in the same boat they are very very far apart emotionally they are far apart that is why you see couples that fight a lot they shout because they are fighting to be heard so as uh, singles please i implore you to choose that man that you have relationship with very strong bond with because it's the beauty we face a time will come when the the, the breast according to re worry Pekin, the breast would have tend to uh, 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 slippers when 
the, the face is no longer what it was when you got married to her. So that is when it begins to count. The man may not have money if it's the money that made you go choose that man. So please, I implore you in your journey to marriage, please choose your best friend. Both of you will be able to synergize and come up with a model that works for both of you. Once again, my name is Mabel Onwemele. I'm a sales coach. I'm an author and the president of Women of Purpose Development Foundation. So I want to say a very big thank you once again to Wendy Ologe for the opportunity to be speaking with a credible, fantastic men and women in intentional uh, parents. So let's shoot right now. What are the benefits of sex? Before we talk about its effects on children, most people do not know that sex is a very vital part in relationship. Very, very vital part. I'm not talking about courtship. I'm talking about married relationship. And romancing your friend outside your, your, your husband or your, your wife, or that's your spouse, outside the bedroom is a strategy for keeping the spark alive. When I mean romancing your spouse outside the bedroom, what do I mean? I mean the day-to-day -day work a hand in hand together, walking in the estate together, holding your hands, or in church, sitting together, whispering sweet nothings to each other's ears, or the, the praying together as a couple, or washing clothes together, or walking in the kitchen as a woman, and your husband comes from behind, comes from behind, and holds you from behind probably start that spark up a, a, a sweet relationship when it uh, in regards to having a, a quality sex life a balanced sex life but most couples are far apart in that area they do not know that only the men hello you, you may have to bear with me. The network is crazy here. I, I don't know. I don't know. All right. So you must be able, I don't even know where I stopped. You must be able to synergize with your spouse. It's a two way thing. I wrote an article um, it, uh, some time ago and I said sex begins in the kitchen. So a lot of persons kind of were confused. I wasn't telling them that, okay, you must have sex with your wife in the kitchen or you must have sex with your husband in the kitchen. I was literally sex, literally saying that if you want to have a quality night, a quality time with your wife, probably on, on a Tuesday, that you begin the activities on a Monday. You, you, you call her or you call him, send some sweets, Naughty tests to each other, but be, but be careful. Be careful. You're sending the test to your to your husband or to your wife. We've had issues where uh, 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 the test got to another the wrong hand. So be very very careful and be sure that is your wife or your husband you're sending tests to. So you 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 prepare your wife, you prepare your husband for a quality time together. Romancing your spouse, your spouse outside the bedroom is one key area that you can spark up your, your, your sex life. And there's one fantastic thing that sex does for you. Because the, 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 the line was disconnecting, I don't know if I mentioned that before we talk about the effect of regular sex on your children, we want to talk about benefits of sex. So I'm talking about benefits of helps you to be happy. Says it improves your mood. So woman, if you're not happy or your husband is so tense, so draculean, please go give him a hot sex. When I mean hot sex. Hot one. The man, I think the, the man, the best and give to them apart giving them is 
to give them hot sex. Please, people should need you. Divine. Divine. Tell him to leave here. It's not supposed to be hearing what I'm saying. Sorry, the network is quite crazy, but I can see that um, you're hearing me or you're online. So it is very, very important. Give him hot sex. Some women do not know how to massage their husbands. Do you know or their wives? When I when I'm talking when I talk about husband, I'm talking about spouse. So either the husband or the wife. Give each other good massage. Who complain that he's too stiff? His waist, his waist is too stiff. Please give him a hot massage. When the massage is regular, it improves your sex life and it in terms makes him look younger. Most of you are using cream of 50,000, cream of 20,000. Please add sperm to it. Sperm is one of the greatest efficient cream that reju rejuvenates a woman or a man. Use good massage to stimulate his system. So some of us that are too draculian, please loosen up a bit. Have good sex together. It improves your mood. It increases the joy the joy and happiness it improves your mood it helps you stay healthy it's a whole lot of intimacy far apart from your spouse engage in regular sex and tell me I, I i spoke in a conference and i told them that it is uh, scientifically proven that couples that that sleep more regularly together have more tendency to have more enduring marriage they stay more together they are intimate they are more intimate with each other so couple that that engage in more regular sexual activity last longer in marriage and how long should you do that you're supposed to have sex at least four times in a week <laughs> don't laugh four times in a week at most 21 times in a month. Now you will be helping your husband to avoid prostate cancer. Most people that do not maximize their sex life at their younger, uh, 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 in, in the younger years of their marriage, have every possibility of developing complications in their health. So do maximize your sex life. If you don't want it or you don't feel like it, please. Live here. And you're not supposed to be hearing what I'm talking about. Please give it to him because you'll be helping him avoid prostate cancer. Love calories. Yeah. That's the I can tell you. It's surely a good way to control or lose weight. It helps to protect your heart. It helps to improve your strength, your flexibility, and tone. It will help you against stroke. Are uh, using sex as a reward? Please, you need to do. Sex. I hope you can you can see me or you can hear me. The 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 network is crazy, quite crazy. Love making helps you to rejuvenate to the point of cell regeneration or wounds healing faster. So most of these things I know we are to hear this. So when you think you're, you're, you're dealing with your husband, you're dealing with your wife by not giving them what, by not giving them uh, uh, the right dose of sex, you are actually doing the wrong thing and doing yourself because sex is a fountain of youthfulness have you seen a man who is sexually satisfied have you seen a woman who is sexually satisfied how they glow 
And when you have sex more regularly, you activate oxytocin, which is a love hormone. So sex increases your husband's love or your, your wife's love for you. So it's, a, it's something that has to be taken very, very seriously. Very, very seriously. Very, very seriously. Having sex stimulates wonderful pleasures that help. I think I need to read the releasing endorphins as well as antibodies to protect you from getting cold or flu. So sex does a whole lot to you. You see couples behaving like babies, running, running in the house, running up and down like children, they are having regular sex. You see couples always smiling and stealing glances at each other. It is a happy hormone that is activating this joy. So please, I implore you, I encourage you to begin to engage in regular sex. Begin to engage sex. Unfortunately, there are lots of homes suffering from this sickness of lack of sex. Or you are a man, you are you 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 must know your sex personality. As a woman, you must know your sex personality before I go to the children. Your sex personality determines how you you enjoy or dislike sex now there are people who are hypersexual and there are the hypersexuals are those who are very highly sexually uh, active why the hypersexuals are those who low when to sex now those ones they need help if you're a hypersexual, you get married to hypersexual, your interest will be just opposed. So you need to, as a couple, work around it to see how you both can and come up with a model to both of you. So if you're watching or you're listening to me and you discover that your husband is always asking or requesting for sex, please. Don't get angry at him. He is hypersexual. So you that is hypersexual as a woman, you need to go do something about there are supplements or improve on your on your on your sexual libido. You can see a doctor to know if you're suffering from frigidity. These are terms that if I begin to if I begin to go into them in total, I might to talk about regular sex and marriage and its effects on children. So you can talk to Mrs. Wendy. She knows how to get me to talk to me. I can answer all your questions. So if you are hypo hypersexual, your husband is sexual and you are hypersexual, you need to do something that will be that will help him, both of you to come up with a model that will work for the boat because your son cannot be, your husband's son cannot be a, 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 a certain going up while your, yours is, you know. You both need to work around it because apart from giving your husband total respect, they, they think they are sexual beings and a man, is, he wants to explore, he wants to, he wants to eat prepared by his wife. When I mean food, I mean the other food. So you need to do the do. You need to give it to him at least 21 times in a month. Some will tell me, this is Niger. How is it possible for you to have sex 21 times in a month? Hello. When you maximize your sex life, having it 21 times in a month, or at least four times in, in, in a week, just look at how his mood will be and report to me. Just check it out. Or you are a woman, you are hypersexual, you do not enjoy sex. There are exercises I will give to you that will help you that improve on your sex life. Let me do this. For those 
that are having a difficulty in enjoying sex, there's an exercise and it helps them. You want to do the way you want to you want to use the talk to ease yourself. When I mean doing the way to ease yourself, all you need to do when you get into the toilet, don't sit on the on the toilet seater. Please stand up and wide widen your legs. Wide it very well then when you do the we a little you stop it you do the we a little you stop it you do the we a little until you are done easing yourself for six months my dear your husband will begin to speak in tongues whenever you are together and there's something that happens when a man and a woman are together. There's a ringing tone that makes you know that, yeah, this man is getting the, or this woman is touching the right place, touching the G spot. But you must work it out because marriage is work. You must work it out. He must surely speak in tongues. And when you see that he's, he's inside of you, when you see that he's inside of you, and I don't, I don't even know how to explain this on on on, on uh, this video. He's your, he's your he's in your inside, and he's pumping both of you are enjoying yourself. So what you do is to use the pubic bone, because if you're easing yourself that way, within six months you would have known the right bone you're exercising. So you widen your leg very well while he's on you. You use that pubic grip his penis. Oh my God. Your husband will speak in tongues. <laughs> don't say I didn't warn you. If you don't want to have baby again, so you have to put the precautionary uh, measures on ground because hmm, baby girl, he will speak in tongues, and you see him dishing out his <laughs> baby. Go and call him Molly. <laughs> Wardrobe changed. You, when you attend to that aspect of their lives, they behave like babies. That is why I employ women. When last did you pillow your 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 your, your husband's head on your leg? You need to do that. You need to do that because it's, it helps them to live. The sluggish love affair can be rekindled with the right ingredients. So get cooking with the right ingredients, baby. Get cooking with the right ingredients. That love affair can be rekindled. And I'll tell you, you will realize when you get cooking with your unique recipe that the husband or wife you're with right now is the best that you can ever have. Let it simmer. Hot sex. It's not just for newly married couples. You said get tastier. As you begin to put the recipes together and blend it, you can eat, you can eat rice in different variety of ways. So you, you different ways and enjoy it. So I don't want people or young ladies thinking that their husband. Uh, they are in competition with any side chick. No, you are in no competition with any side chick. You are in no competition with any side chick. So that is why you have to maintain or have a high level of communication. Remember, action speaks louder than voice. Don't hide your sexual likes or dislikes from your husband. You need to find out what gives my husband pleasure, what gives my wife pleasure. This is to both of you. In ways that show that you respect, you have huge respect for your partner. Your husband or wife should be your cheerleader. But unfortunately, most couples are not working in synergy. They do not communicate. And when you do not communicate, you can have that 
scintillating sex life we are talking you must make realistic and reasonable statements try out in this lockdown there are so many things i've been able to create in this time that we're, we're, we're home i created some 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 sex tiles so create something if it's to host silly host silly if it's to let, let it be something that makes both of your inner shell communicate it clearly to your partner as long as you both agree things will begin to work in the There are things that you know kills sex life and it shouldn't it shouldn't when a woman you do not respect your man it kills it so for you to enjoy it you have to communicate these things i'm talking about well if you're hyposexual you have to work more to be able to attend to your husband hyperactive sexual drive unless it is way too high then there's a problem so i i cannot um begin to demystify all of this in the but i believe with the benefits i have talked about maximizing it 21 times in a month or at least three times or four times in a week having emotional connection not just doing it there are sex and there are sex not just doing it be honest and open to each other relate your feelings to each other there's no point pretending that you're enjoying it whereas you're not enjoying it if your husband or your your wife is not doing it well please take his hand or take a hand Put it there. Maybe do it like this. <laughs> Maybe do it like this. I enjoy it this way. Most men do not know the gist for Most women do not know the gist for Men have gist for As well as women. At least the first one we know for men is the base of the penis. That shaft at the top of the penis. You're not supposed to be rough or harsh when you are rubbing the base of the penis. You're supposed to take it slowly. And if you know your mom will not stand too much necking, you have to slow down when you see that he's, a, he's about coming penetrate. And for women, the 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 the, the, the gist part, the number one that we know is the clitoris. Some men begin rubbing the clitoris from the from the edge. No, that's wrong. That's wrong. It's a very sensitive uh, place. So you need to start gradually from the side. From the side. By the time your wife is responding to the touch, then you begin to navigate down to you know this the 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 the, the the, 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 it begins to lubricate, lubricate the, the, the vulva, the vagina. So you begin to take it gently by the side. By the side. Before you know it, she's wet. Rubbing the, the, the clitoris like you're washing a plate. No. Everything about the woman is gentility. She's feminine. As for the man, when you see that, he's about to, to come. This is the this is the penis. You you bend it a bit to the back. It will relax it again. The sensitive area. So all these are things you need to put in place. You know which is which for my, for myself and for my spouse. You can enjoy your sex life. You can have it all in this life. You can have it all in this life. 
I can't seem to get uh, uh, people online. I can't. I, I'm, I'm not seeing anything. Please, if you're watching me and you're hearing me, please say something. I need to know. I can't. I can't see. I'm lost here. Please, if you're watching and you can hear me and you're seeing me, please say something. I can see you. I can hear you loud and clear. Please, I need to know that I'm communicating to people. I can't seem to to people online or something. So please. So for you needed to to take it slowly so that we know what sex is all about helps or improves on your marriage before we go down to how it affects the children please are we online can you hear me can you see me so for the woman her breast is one sensitive part again all these though little you must know them it will help you to enjoy your sex life do not manipulate your spouse say the truth to your spouse let them know what you are enjoying and what you are not enjoying don't fake orgasm don't fake orgasm deception in marriages right now do not fake orgasm if you are not enjoying it you are not enjoying it please do not fake orgasm so let's go to how it helps your children or how it affects your children i said here that constant fighting and stress can cause your children serious problems problem like problems like high level of depression and, and behavior issues high level of anxiety and often children who are unhappy misbehave and act out as a way of expressing their, 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 their dislike, their disapproval of your behavior. So please, if your children are always sad, you see your child who is very enthusiastic, very outgoing, becomes isolated, all of a sudden does not relate with you anymore, please, I need you to take that child seriously. Find out what is happening. Is anyone online? Please, are you hearing me? I can't see you. So please, if your child is that way, please, you need to do something about it. Something is happening to your child. It means you need to work hard on your relationship with your husband. If your baby girl, maybe seven years old or six years old or ten years old, does not tell you, Mom, I want to, I want to marry a man like my daddy when I grow up, then there's a problem. If your sons does not tell you they want their wives to be like you, there's a problem. So please, you need to work hard on this. Your child is your primary uh, responsibility. God gave them to you to take care of. So if you're not on them right now, you have yourself to blame. So when you see this trait in your child, know that something is wrong. You need to find out. A child whom the parents are always in happy mood, loving themselves, touching themselves, communicating in the most positive way, it rubs off on the children. You see the children being very happy, see them re replicating what is happening in their home, in school. I've had couples, I've had um, a school call the attention of a parent because their baby girl fights like never before, fights like what I don't know. And on intervention, it was discovered that the 
pray, the mother ties the, 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 the breastplate of fire. Husband. So the baby you know, replicating what the mother in the school. You are the reflection of your husband, you are the reflection of your wife, and your children are your reflection. So it's very, very important that you do the needful. I can't seem to get. When couples have regular sex, it creates a greater bond between the couples and the children. I've seen homes where the father do not have relationship with the children. I refer to those fathers as absentee fathers. They neither have time for their children or have time for their wives. There's no bond between the children. There's no bond between the wife and the husband. So how do you think in such an atmosphere that the children will grow up having a bond? So we need to work on it. Regular says improves the bond between a parent and the children. Regular sex in marriage improves the bond between the husband and the bond between the children and the parents. Your children should be able to they should be able to talk to you anytime they have problems. I remember my my 16 year old boy telling me how a, a, a girl was how he was written a love letter by a girl and he shut the door we had a meaningful conversation if you don't relate well with them there's no how they can uh, hello I, can you see me? I've disconnected again. I don't know. Can you see me? Can you see me? Can you see me? Please do something to make me know you're online. It's I have lost connection again. Hello. Um, I had to leave the house. I'm in the car right now. Ah. Can you see me? I need to, I had to leave the house. If you're online, if you're online, please If you're online, please let me know you're online. If you're online, please let me know. I had to leave the house. I'm in the car right now. Please say something. If you can see me, say something. If you can hear me, say something. Because the network is crazy. I don't know why. Can you see me? Can you hear me? I'm in the car right now. I had to leave the house um, because uh, I wasn't getting value. I wasn't getting the, the network. Okay, you can see me. If you can hear me, say I can hear you loud and clear. If you can hear me, say I can hear you loud and clear. Okay. All right, so I was saying between a husband and a wife improves when they have regular sex and the bond between the children and their parents improves also when the parents are in, uh, let me put it, oxytocin mood. You know, oxytocin improves your, your joy and happiness. It is called a happy hormone. That is why when a man and a woman are in love, you see, they are always happy. You can feel their joy. You can, when you look at me, when you look at me, look at my, look at my joy, look at my radiance. 
you know that I am satisfied. <laughs> I am a woman that is well taken care of on bed. <laughs> I am a woman that is well taken care of on bed. <laughs> so, if you see the bond, the bond, a strong bond between husband and wife, it rubs off on their children. So if you are the shouting mom, thank God for, for uh, Coach Wendy. Coach Wendy is making every one of us more, more calm in our parenting style. When I bought Connect to Correct, oh my God, I was reading it like a manual. And now it has rubbed off on my children. Even if I knew most of those things before, but now I, 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 I'm not relating as in I'm having a, a stronger bond and relationship with my children. I have a stronger bond and relationship with them. So please, if you've not read Connect to Correct, Biko, go and get it. That book is a masterpiece. Everybody should have Connect to Correct. And the uh, newly uh, released um, um, from yelling to calm. Oh my God. You need to have these books if you know you want to enjoy your sex life. Because your, your, your sex life, your sex life has a lot, a lot to add to your parenting style. I cannot go in total. I don't know all the all the things I said while I was in the house. I don't know if you got them when I talked about hypersexual and hypersexual. Please, if you got that part, please let me know. I spoke about hypersexual. Please let me know if you didn't get it. I may have to repeat it. If you got it, when I said um, we have some uh, two personalities or, or, uh, um, in the sex world. We have the hyposexual and the hypersexual. If you got it, please let me know. If you didn't get that part, please let me know so that I can repeat myself. If you didn't get it, let me know through your comments so I can repeat myself. Because if your husband is hypersexual and you are hyposexual and you're doing nothing about it and you're still very young, you're not doing yourself any good. Sex <clears throat> rejuvenates you. Sex makes you look young. <laughs> Sex makes you look young. Sex makes you glow. Good sex makes you. I'm trying to recap what I said before because I'm getting a, a clearer uh, network here. Sex makes you glow. Sex makes you look younger. Sex improves your bladder, your bladder movement, according, uh, um, for, according to research. And I talked about for um, the the way you, you you do the wee when you want to do the wee yeah you wide your leg i mean the car i cannot i cannot dramatize it but in any of the boot camp that wendy will be having i, I could come and um, and dramatize it for you for you guys if you know you've not registered for her for her um, her boot camp please register i will be there to dramatize what i'm talking about when you do that that exercise for six good monks your husband will speak in tongues his ringtone will change hey if your husband has not spoken in tongues he didn't ask you sugar babe what is going on oh my baby oh deeper oh if your baby has not called you has not made some ringtone <laughs> you need to do you need to see me you need to see You need to see me because if you put sugar, <laughs> because if you if you use honey, because it works, it works. Because when you use the the pubic bone of the vagina to grip the penis, you are under. When you you do this when your husband is on top and you are down, so your white your leg is wide open. He now penetrates not immediately as it's pumping slowly 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 now in the middle of it you now use that your pubic bone you know you've been exercising it for like six months with a with the way i taught you when i was in the house so by the time you you you, you, you now use the pubic bone to grip the penis he will speak in tongues he will speak in tongues 
So please, my dear ladies and gentlemen, begin to put some touches to your sex life. What you teach your children, charity begins at home. What you do with your husband is what your or you do with your wife or your spouse is what your children does with their friends out there. That is why you should be very, very careful. Be very, very careful. Be very, very careful. I'm, I'm seeing someone say we need practical. If you need practical, I want you to, to register for, for Wendy's uh, boot camp. When you register for her boot camp, I'll be there to dramatize it for you. You will see. Your husband will give you his ATM card. Your husband will change your wardrobe. Even if you're working, he will place you on, on, on salary because you're doing, you're doing the do. Most women don't know how to do the do. You need to do the do. And when you do the do, you're not just helping your husband. You're helping yourself. You're helping yourself. Because... you see you don't have code you don't have flu for women that are for that that are big it helps to in, in cardiovascular uh, um, uh, 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 issues heart issues exercises orgasm is a, is a is a greatest exercise you can you can have I'm not in the house I would have outlined them for you you need it you need it you need it so don't tell me my husband does not love me how can i hey i said even the most sluggish love affair can be rekindled with the right ingredients get cooking with the right ingredients baby don't tell me you can do it get cooking with the right ingredients when you come up with your own unique ingredients hmm. <laughs> when you come up with your own unique ingredients you will realize that the man you are with right now the wife you are with right now is the best thing can ever happen to you the grass is never greener on the other side stop comparing your husband stop comparing your wife you can make good of that man that opportunity hot sex is not for newly married couples my marriage is 20 years i just got started baby <laughs> I just got started baby I said my marriage is 20 years I just got started hot sex is not just for new new newly married individuals no sex is this year when there is emotional connection you have to be emotionally connected with your spouse it helps you don't know how to touch you don't know where to touch your man if you want to know, please, <laughs> I'll be available. Ask for my number from her, private chat me. I'll be available at a very cheekily price anyway. I'll be available. You don't know where to touch. There's a place you touch a man. It begins to do single bear, single bear, dingo, always. Do you know where to touch? That's why I refuse to do that uh, side cheek or is demeaning for me I'm not in competition with any side chick I'm a side chick no I'm a I'm a I'm a I'm a I'm a, I'm a, I'm a babe I don't want to use the word side chick I'm a babe I'm a wife I'm a I'm a <laughs> I'm a jingle bear <laughs> I'm everything to my man I'm everything you should be everything to your man you should be everything to your man so please do not take the issues of your bedroom with levity so many women so many women so many women don't know the right do you know there's a perfume you should use on your bed how many times do you change your best spread there's, there, there's this one called Secret, um, Victoria's Secret. I use it. It's part of what I use. Fantasy is there. There are some. After laying your bed, you just sprinkle them on the bed. Sprinkle them on the bed. Some of you, your best, your best press takes two weeks. Oh, whack. That's yuck. Please, let's begin to make intentional... Uh, um, um, efforts intentional efforts to improve on our sex life 
and activities surrounding sex life because it rubs off again i say it rubs off on your children so don't tell me we are poor these things does not cost much these things does not cost much so quickly do to improve your sex life number one your nightgown how is your nightgown how is your nightgown most women do not know a man can be with you for 40 years but that man is different he sees different things at different times when he relates with you so as a, a woman you should have wicked collections of nightgown i mean wicked collections wicked everybody must not be slim i'm not a slim person I have, i'm not a slim person but i'm always in the gym so make sure you get nightgown that suits you you must not wear a uh, coste you you wear coste to sleep no you don't wear coste to sleep there are nightgown you wear if your man is not ready to sleep he will he will be in the mood you actually helping him so i am employing you go get different collections of nightgown different colors sweet colors of nightgown sweet colors and if you are in this group, intentional parents, and you are still wearing please go and throw it away. Go and throw them away. You don't need string that has a hole in between you know the the back is catapult then the front has a lacy uh, a, a lacy feeling soft lacy feeling then the under where the vagina is it has a hole in between go and get those ones. <laughs> go and get those ones those are the quick collection I'm talking about different types different colors get them sometimes you can wear long sometimes you can wear shorts get them they are very good when your man sees even if he does not want to do the do he will do the do you are actually helping him you are maximizing your sex life you don't need aphrodisiacs all you nice go get your own kayamata what is the kayamata i'm talking about these things i'm these things i'm enumerating here get sweet colors yeah get them sometimes you don't need to see there's one trick i want to tell you babe it is please sometimes have sex with your with your with your g-string on oh my god it hey it, you will see the you oh my i don't even i like the words to to explain the sweetness there are different levels when it comes to sex but if you have not gone to the different levels, you will not understand what I'm talking about. You will not understand what I'm about. Different levels of, 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 of sweetness as it relates to sex. Let your man have sex with you while you are still wearing the... Well, let him penetrate while you are still wearing your G-string. The, the sweetness is unimaginable. You will hear, oh baby, oh baby, oh baby, I love you. Oh my baby, oh, oh. <laughs> Wait, please, uh, this is this this is what I dish out when I have classes, but I'm just dishing out dishing them out here. Yeah, so please. He will hear different ringtones. Please, my ladies, improve. Improve. Improve on yourself. 
when you want to sleep you're not supposed to wear um, a, a, a bra but there are bra you can wear on your sleeping positions they are not tight they are they are physical class i will come and show you these things i'm talking about loose bras and i'll also teach you how to hold your man how it's not every man that can stand too much uh, um stroking it's not every man that can stand it so if your husband is suffering from erectile dysfunction there is there is a way to touch that kind of man it's not every man that can stand too much necking and smooching i'll teach you all this so you can enjoy your sex life and enjoy your home I talked about nightgowns and cream. Please, sometimes buy your night cream. Change your cream. Buying you your cream, your perfumes. So he's used to a particular scent, a particular aroma. Or is it aroma I'm supposed to use? No. A particular scent or perfume or mist. So if your husband Hello, can you hear me? Can you hear me? If you can hear me, please say something. The network has started again in the car. I will soon end this class anyway. End this class. Can you see me? Can you hear me? The network has gone off again. I don't know. Can you hear me? Can you see me? If you can hear me, say I can hear you loud and clear. If you can see me, say I can see you. So I can continue. I'm on the second. I'm on the second point. Can you hear me? Can I continue? Can you hear me? Can you can I continue? Can you hear me? This network is really messed up. I don't know. I don't know what's going on today. Can you hear me? Can you see me? If you can If you can hear me, say I can hear you loud and clear. If you can see me, say I can see you. If you can see you put one here you put you put another here then on your nightgown you can use another fragrance on your nightgown there's a particular mist you can buy for your best spread and please when you are choosing your, the colors of your best best spread please choose colors that freely colors that are romantic you know most of our men are not romantic Hello, can you hear me? Can you see me now? Okay, now I was talking about you getting your own kind, of, uh, your own um, if you rub the cream your husband buys you in the morning, by the time you want to sleep, please get your own special, when I talk about the most sluggish love affair can be rekindled with your own unique recipe, with your own unique special ingredients. This is what I was actually, hello. All right, I said, um, the network is making me lose. Okay, I was talking about your it also affects so many things in your in your marriage or relationship. So if your your husband buys you your evenings after your bath, of course you know you're supposed to brush your mouth twice a day and have your bath two to three times a day. So after having your bath, there's a perfume or a mist for the best spray.
three times or two times in a in a day in a in a week i said two times every three days every three days some change every one week some change every two weeks some change every one month your spec but i encourage every woman to change if you want to spark up your sex life change your best spread every three um, three three days you have that special you have the one you use on yourself i have the, i have told you how to use them the victoria secret i said if you don't have victoria secret and you want to get them the good one you can contact wendy wendy will reach out to me or you can you can reach out to me any anyhow so so we can we can dramatize these things physically you can see the physical uh, uh, the practical steps on how you should do these things your your perfume your fragrance is very very important sometimes man is not ready for sex he's not ready for sex he just comes home tired fagged out that is the time that he should have sex yes that is the time who told you you can always have prepared sex you can have a quickie you can have a quickie you can have a quickie with your man your man and um, if you begin to apply these things i'm talking about maybe your man is walking in the, you are walking your, your husband can call you babe where are you let's lodge into one hotel i want to do the do <laughs> see oh love is beautiful please work on your marriage work on your marriage love is a beautiful thing you see your man calling you babe why time let's meet in a um, what's this hotel in a uh, it will say to okay when did knows the hotel <laughs> And governor uses uses the hotel sometimes. You 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 can go to that hotel in there uh, in Wuse too. Said so you just you are not sleeping. You just want to do a quickie with your man. Who says you can always have sex at night? You can have sex in the bathroom. You can have sex in the kitchen. You can have sex in the back top. You can have sex everywhere in the house, especially if your children are grown and out of the house or out of out in the anywhere. And on your couch, you can have sex on your couch. It will help your marriage. It will help your relationship. That is after you have applied the other things I said about, about being emotionally attached. There's nothing you cannot, you cannot discuss with your man or woman when both of you... Now every marriage should be, you should be intertwined. So please... I have talked so much on this please if you know your husband buys you cream or fragrance um, uh, or perfumes please get your personal uh, copies of these things get them get your own bottle of, of cream get your own a different one that you can use at night to give our, our uh, um, Korean time to your relationship please will you do that for me i i want to see i want to see the answers will you do that for me because your marriage is very very important to me i told you i'm i'm 20 years in marriage and it's just like yesterday, just like yesterday so if nobody all the things we are talking about nobody was born with it we were not born with it it's a learned skill if you want your marriage to work it will work marriage is work by the way marriage is work if you want your marriage to work it will work so please do extra work on your marriage i'm talking to men and women intentional parents comprises of men and women i'm sure so please your husband is fond of buying you gifts i'm going to do the third one now why not you gift your husband even if even if it's even if it's a wristwatch even if it's and what is the, 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 the smallest even if it's a, taking your, your man to, 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 to take him for, for outing take him for, for, for shopping 
that's why I said I believe every woman in this place is empowered take your husband out I remember one day I told my husband I, I, I want to see you I have I'm taking you out and he laughed those are the early years of a marriage and I took him out to one like a den in Lagos and I told him to pick I was doing this I was a professional networker I had money I had serious money and I told him I want to take you out I he would pick he said Mimi my husband would tell me Mimi in the pride I said take guy take money stops nonsense All right. <laughs> I said guy take he said Mimi this guy was taking was taking what I brought up my ATM and I You can imagine that night now, the ringing tone. Oh, baby. <laughs> you can imagine the ringing tone. And you know, when you do that for your man, he wants to reciprocate. He wants to reciprocate. In this lecture, all that I have been able to learn. Selfless in my marriage. I'm a very selfless person. I think of my husband's beneficial benefits more than mine and because i'm selfless himself make happy thinks of my own happiness before his so that is why we, we that's why we talk about synergy take him out give him gifts spoil your husband silly make your husband the envy of other of other men if you are still calling your husband Papa boy boy Shh. let me not say shame on you no I will say shame on you please change <laughs> I will say I'm calling your husband uh, daddy T please change your husband is not your daddy he cannot make love to his mommy even if we have to do the sometimes act like a mother take care of them but husband daddy kind of reduces that spark don't call your if you are married to a pastor you can call him daddy in the church but in the house please he's not your daddy a daddy cannot make love to his to 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 to, to his daughter please stop calling your husband he's a trigger he kills he's a bad trigger he kills sex life most pastors wives don't know this if you're a pastor's wife your husband is daddy in church at home he's honey sweetie sugar different names different names you can all be and can my my happiness my life my boy in the church his daddy please stop calling him daddy so please take him out let him eat your money Me, women we always say my money is my money and his money is our money yes sometimes let his let your money be our money spend that money on him sometimes you go to where he keeps his bosses his singlets i'm teaching you ways you can spark it up where he keeps his singlets his bosses buy a dozen of uh, singlets buy a dozen of boxers buy a, a, a dozen of hands pants that's a pant recommended for men buy for him he it please learn to to give your husband's gift men are fond of giving but, but if you are a man here and you're not good at giving your wife gift please try begin to give your wife's give your wife gift it helps and improves improves your your relationship then the last one no i'll make i'll make it the second or the last i want to talk about your panties please ladies this man he sees you inside out you are supposed to have sexual sex appeal you're supposed to be sexually attracted to your husband not to the wide world you 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 wear your wig you will do your you're fond of wearing wig you won't make your hair at home your husband does not know how beautiful your hair is each time in the house you're looking like one one old dude they brought from refugee camp while when you are all glamorous all beautiful all beautiful so please at home 
you 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 do weaving for your hair your for for your wig sometimes make your hair make your hair let your husband see how beautiful his wife is at home is this man inside out inside out please your pants some people i talked about dross did you hear that part where i talked about Hear that part where I talked about uh, a woman wearing drawers it is wide enough to, to sew a, a gown for a two year old girl. Did you hear that? If you didn't hear that, a, a dress pan that you wear that covers the, the, the full <coughs> that covers the full shape of the, the, the of your of your buff, your bum. So we are not I'm, not, I'm not, I'm not talking about that kind of pants. Now, these pants now you are wearing, you are, it is bad dress in this 21st century. Now, you now, the dress will now have patch here, patch here, the, 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 the dress, the dress will tear here, tear here, tear here, tear here, and it will tear under. And you changing. Your husband is seeing you changing. So sad. So, so sad. How can he, how can his chairman rise? Stand attention when he sees his wife undressing. How can he get attracted to tear, tear pants? Let me call it the, 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 the local Nigerian way. <laughs> how can he tear pants? Please, I'm begging. Because my joy will be that after this class, I'll begin to get feedback that my marriage has turned from point A to point B. There must be a movement. That is success. There must be a dramatic movement after this class. So please, please, I'm begging. Please, I am begging you. Go and change that pant. Let my people go. Let my people go. Let that pant go. That pant has served its purpose or its purpose. Let that pant go. Let that pant go. Let the pant go. Change that pant. Stop wearing drawers. Go and get collections of um, of um, uh, G string. Color colorful G strings. Colorful. Some lacy. You can get mix them up. Some lacy. Some catapultex. Some different colors. Go get them, please. Go get those panties. Change your panties. And your hair. Please pay more attention to your hair. Sometimes in the office, I get some men come into the office. They want to work on their marriage. They don't know how to tell their wife that their hair smells. Your husbands are complaining. Some husbands are complaining. Hair smelling. No. And you pillow that head on his chest. Oh, I pity that man. The smell. Please. Please go. Sometimes you don't wear wig. Let him see how beautiful you are, especially in this lockdown. You can do fine weaving, neat fine weaving, and get some supplements too that work on your nails. There are supplements that work on nails that work on hair. Uh, there's one I use. It works on ha hair. It works on your nails. It works on your hair for your hair. It gives your hair a fuller look. It makes it black and beautiful. There are supplements you can use. It makes your skin. It also helps your skin too, and it improves also your libido. You can get these things. It will help you. I can't dish out everything here. I'm a sex coach. I don't have all the all the time to to do this. Please. For those that are saying they are always uncomfortable on G-string, there are some G-string that are fully laced, not the catapulted one. But I, I personally love that catapulted one. <laughs> that catapulted one that, that has a hole in between. <laughs> that one will help the quickie. It will help you do the quickie, you know? You don't, you know, quickie does not need foreplay. Quickie does not need too much touching. You just go and slide it in, you know, slide in and slot it in, and off you go. So please, if you don't like it, there are... so go and get those ones that you like. Please, it's not a laughing matter. So please, let's 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 you know in, improve 
on our sex life it will help our children to grow better so under such condition they do well in school children that grow under such, such condition are full of love they radiate so much love and your children will now make better husbands and wives when you do these things i am talking about you don't have um you you, you don't want to raise children that grow to be adults with with low self-esteem or high level of depression and anxiety all these are what all these problems in in the home are the ones that are, are what causes this this uh, 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 behavior issues in children you see them getting to work maybe working in the bank they can't relate with their 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 colleague is all these things i'm talking about so please i need you to work on your home i need to work on your marriage who says marriage is simple it is work when i say i've been married for 20 years it is work i'm talking out of experience it is work on, on both parts it's not one person's job so please after this class call your husband both of you should have a meeting do self-appraisal self ask yourself am i doing am i doing right am i measuring up in what way do you need me to improve on 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 my relationship with you and if you've not read connect to correct i'm still re-emphasizing it if you've not read connect to correct please go get that book Except my my children in fact anytime i i, I want to i want to i want to shout <laughs> It's like Wendy is now is now a, 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 a spiritual koboko. I remember Wendy. I re, I refrain. So and my children, I they, they love me better. They, they even my husband told me I love the way you're re, re, relating with the children. You know. So if you've not read that book, please read that. Go and get a copy of that book. Gift it for for to to trying to get better to be better parents better, no matter how much sex you have you still need extra things to help improve on your your parenting skill so please if you've not gotten that book go get that book correct to connect um uh, yeah from healing to calm i have the two books and they are really helping helping me then the last one your your love language what is your husband's love language what is your own love language do you know do you know that your love language can actually improve on your sex life? Your love language. Please, you need to know. Is it acts of service? Is it touch? What is your love language? And what is your uh, temperament? Are you melancholy? Are you phlegmatic? Are you sanguine? Are you choleric? This factors also helps you to spur up your sex life or to spice up your sex life i cannot be i cannot go in total on what what um uh, uh, spirit um what temperaments are i can only enumer enumerate them for you uh wendy will be speaking to all of you about who i am <laughs> you already know who i am and my my book my book with zombie is is already out we're just trying to you know do one or two things about it so she'll be talking to you more about it let me not sell off everything that i have to say in this class so if you are melancholy i'm not going to explain what they mean if you are melancholy you are Have different uh, sex appeal. Them, it's like sex personalities. So you cannot, if you don't know these things, you cannot actually have a fulfilled sex life. So when you when you are abreast of these things, it will help you to know. Okay, this is where my husband falls in. Okay, this is where my wife falls in. It will not help you to synergize. So please, I need you to 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 be more intentional in your parenting to be more intentional in your marriage to be more intentional life i believe with these few points of mind i've been able to convince you and not to confuse you